What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6pm. It is uh, Saturday and we have got Rule Breakers Rush. Rule Breaker Team 1 Loan Pack. And a Mega Pack. Hey, that's alright. Assist 5 goals in squad battles with 80 passing. Score 2 goals in 3 separate squad battles matches or rivals. Assist with a cross in four matches or rivals. Score six goals using players with 78 shooting and squad battles or rivals. That's really easy, isn't it? More like, nice, nice, little, uh, nice little return there. Get yourself a Rule Breakers loan item and a Mega Pack. That's all right, that is. We don't mind that too much. Nothing else there. Milestones. Dare, dare I even look? Dare I even look? Um into the store now there was those 25k packs that are already there that is that is literally it so they didn't give us any special packs today that's quite interesting and then the s b c's against the current rare election players pack and that is going to cost 75 chemistry minimum silver six rares 80 overall and higher exactly two 77 overall and higher, exactly five. Players from the same region, exactly one. Ooh, one player from the same country. Wow, 75 chemistry. That is going to make silver rare cards from major leagues and minor nations go through the roof. That's very expensive for a rare election players pack that's untradeable. And that's all there is. That's all there is. No league SBCs. But all oh, three new rule breakers. Wait, on a Saturday. You sure? Are you sure? No. Not me. Oh, did it say max 75 chemistry? Oh. Oh, because it's Rule Breaker, isn't it? Rule, the Rule Breaker Rare Election Players Pack. Max 75. Oh, that's easy. That is actually going to make Rare Silvers from off leagues crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. So EA's already tweeted. So there are three new Rule, rule Breakers, apparently. Zachariah, Gundawan, and then a, uh, an English guy. But they're not actually there. Let me show you. Yeah, look at that. Barhukzen. Harzukun. Gundawan 87. Zachary 85. Let's uh let's see if we can get these on Footbin and have a little look. New players. They're not on Footbin at the moment, so let's get into uh I just want to see them with uh chem styles though. Now, Zacharia, depending on what they've done with him, he could be... Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? So they've given him... They've dropped him seven pace. They've given him 11 dribbling. Two physical, two defending. They've dropped him two, sh uh, two shooting, sorry, for seven pace. Wow. Say hello to the new best C CDM in the game. Say hello to that. That stamina, that strength and aggression, insane. Defending, very good. Dribbling, insane. Passing, very good. Shooting, who cares? You play him at DM. Pace is still very, very good. Zacharia is there. On top of that, you're comparing him to his team of the week. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. But he, like, but because that's what the upgrade will be based off of, right? It won't be based off of this, because otherwise they've only dropped him four pace. And then they've upped him seven shooting, eight passing, five physical, five defending, and 14 dribbling. I think it's compared to this. But e e even if it's not, it doesn't make any difference, right? And then there was Ilkay Gundawan. I want to I get these on a uh, to have a look at the in-game stats. So they've given him a massive physical boost at the cost of shooting interesting five extra pace two extra dribbling 14 extra physical four extra defending two extra passing 
a six shooting. His physical is super nice. His defending is nice. His dribbling is insane. His passing is still exceptionally good. And his pace is all right. He, he might be all right. You know, he might be a lot of fun to play with in game. He's got a lot a lot of the right things about him. Um, and then what was the other guy called? Boris Yukin. I don't know how to spell his name. I don't know how to spell his name. What was it a Preston North End? Oh, they're on footbin now. Let's have a look on there. <clears throat> um, all right, so Gundogan, Zakaria. What, what a strange player to pick. The first silver player, they've given him seven pace. No, they've dropped him seven pace, but they've boosted him by 18 dribbling, 12 physical, 12 shooting, 11 passing, and 9 defending. He's 3-star, three 3-star, three star, which sucks. His dribbling is real nice, real nice. Composure's a little low, but other, otherwise his dribbling is real nice. Stamina's real good. Dead Eye Chem style. 90 passing, 86 vision. I mean, this this will be super cheap, right? But if you're a Preston fan, or if you're playing the championship players, that's pretty cool, I suppose. I was going to boot... Maybe, maybe engine. His dribbling will be super, super smooth. Pace good, stamina good. Got power is good, positioning's good. But yeah, he would have been good if it was the Silver Stars and he was coming in at the 74. His passing is just not very good. His long passing is abysmal. I'd probably have to go a dead eye on him. Does make him good still. Three star, three star sucks a bit, but he, he's okay. Under one. I like the look of this card. Dribbling, brilliant. Physical is brilliant. Passing, brilliant. Defending is good. I mean, you could pop a shadow on him and play him in a DM. An anchor makes him a good DM. Alternatively, bang an engine on him. Oh, that would be a good card. That passing, that physical. That, as, a, as a secondary DM, no. Go shadow. Pop him alongside like Bruno Fernandes or someone like that in a DM. Boss. I wonder how much he's going to cost. He's all, What? He's already at 165 on Xbox and 215k on PlayStation. This market baffles me, man. Baffles me. And then Zachariah, I got a feeling he's going to be super expensive. Pop an engine on him. Holy. Physical's good. Defending good. Passing brilliant. Pace good. Dribbling brilliant. Pop an anchor on him. Oh man. Pop a shadow on him. What do they give him? They give him a big dribbling boost, didn't they? This card is going to be the best in the game for that DM roll. Brilliant pace. For a man who's 6'3, extremely good. Dribbling. Like, we are talking team of the season level dribbling right there. Extremely good defending. Very good physicals and good passing. That 88 short passing is real nice. High attacking work rate. You just have to say about quality attacking. It doesn't really matter. That is a mad card. That is a mad card. If you can get that card. Him and Harlan Link. Yeah, they get that soft link. You can link him with the uh, Nkunku as well. That is a mad card. Bang an engine on him if you wanted as well. If you're happy with the defensive stats. Better passing, better dribbling, and good pace. That is an exceptional, exceptional card. I like that one. Of the three, I think Zachariah looks to be uh, the best. Um, I also, uh, because I misread the chemistry requirements on this here. This is really, really good. Um, I thought it was minimum chemistry, but it's not. This is actually really good. That, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.